Welcome to Crazy Towns 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dying. I'm IT Explosive One. We're starting the timer. Boom. TNT. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go kind of the opposite of what I wanted to ask originally. Okay. Uh, so, you enjoy movies. I love movies. Just yeah. saw Sonic, baby. Yeah. There you go, dude. Pretty good. Yeah. Seven out of ten. Oh, yeah. We can talk about that experience. Want to go, <laughs> go into that? <laughs> no, I was just um, bringing it up because it uh, happened. So, but what will ruin a movie movie for you immediately? Like, is you know, not so much what makes you like a movie, but if like what when you're seeing a movie will immediately turn you off, or like you're just like, oh man, I was I I was in it, but man. Uh, well, I will say, like Jonas, I try not to get annoyed. You know, like I realize that if I go to a movie theater, there's going to be the chance of the natural things that happen when you go to the movie theater. Yeah. The line takes too long. The bathroom's nasty. The floor's sticky. There's popcorn on your seat. Uh, there's going to be people talking loud. Um, I will have to say is that people talking through the entire movie irks me to no <laughs> well, that's more about the movie theater experience. We can go that route. I just met with the actual movie, but oh, okay. no, but no, I feel you. Like, well, and the other thing, like, we went with our friends to go see a movie, and the whole theater was open, and these <laughs> and oh, these people yeah, come tell and this one. Tell, yeah, tell it so, right, like, <laughs> so like we go to the theater, and like now we go to the theater where you pick your own seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like so, so like uh, we let our friends pick seats or whatever, and then uh, TNT picks a seat, and I pick a seat, and like, and it doesn't really matter where these seats are because there's literally like eight seats in the whole damn theater taken. Yeah. So like we go in, and there's people in like the, the we first picked, row. Yeah, there's people in the first row. We skipped a row. Yeah, and we then skipped there were our a row, seats. And, then went, and then we went behind them, but kind of a little still catty corner to yeah, them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then these mofos come in right before the movie starts, sit right in the row between the two of us in front of everybody, and they they cause the people, they cause our friends to move to the other side of us, and they cause the people in front of them yeah. to move because the whole damn theater was empty. Yeah, like, they why? sat right behind the people in the front row and right in front of the people in our row. <laughs> like, why would you choose that row to go to? Yeah, the the seven rows behind us were completely open. Empty. Every row was empty. Yeah, dude, and we I was just like... So everybody in the front row got mad and just started moving their seats, clearly just pissed off. This <laughs> dude, this was a dude and his girlfriend. Yeah. She, he looked like a total jerk because people they moved and then our friends moved their seats and yeah. came and sat over by me, and it was just like, wow, Bro. you really, you did that. Yeah, you yeah, just so you guys can sit in the second row right yeah. in the center. Yo, like, even if you messed up, man, I would have just stood up as a man, and I would have just been like, hey, yo, look, my bad. I will move back. Yeah, right. <laughs> right like you walk in and you're just like oh crap we picked the seats right yeah, in the middle yeah, of everybody yeah, yeah. but like yeah like you some could have sat literally two rows back and had no problem with nobody whatever exactly because like, you saw what you did at that point he could even saw had her give did. him a handy you know would have noticed <laughs> <laughs> he could have had a little little touchy touch dude. it's just the fact that there were like literally 10 people in that theater <laughs> and he decided to, he and his girl decided to sit like right in the highest concentration of people yeah exactly it's right? like Where it's like was... the urinal rules but for movie theaters yeah yeah and then like if you go into a restaurant and there's only one table of people and then you get to choose wherever you want and you sit right next to them yeah and yeah. you have a table of four too so there's two tables of four and the whole restaurant's empty so yeah that right there that's on the top of my list that's in my top three definitely so people who talk to an entire freaking movie most annoying shit ever people who sit right next to you in the movie theater that's up there Screw oh them. where they don't they, skip a seat this, the same story we're basically telling if you if you sit right in front of me in a movie theater i'm gonna be look fam i'm putting my feet up regardless so yeah <laughs> you about to have my timberlands on your shoulders yeah i had somebody i didn't want to sit right behind uh, me either pick your own pick your own seat things and yeah. the whole theater's empty they pick the seat literally right next to me yeah see, and i'm that's like not cool. yo like Skip, and then I'm yeah. like, skip an effing seat. The theater's empty. Yo, dead ass. Even if I pick a seat that's right next to somebody and I go in a theater, I will not sit right next to that person. I'll, I'll call an audible right Yeah, there. skip the seat. And if the person yeah. comes and forces you to, then you're forced. It is what it is. And but generally, that person is going to be like, no, I'll just find another seat that's at least got the... You got to have a one seat buffer, all right? Yeah, you even when I go buffer. with you to the movies, we one seat buffer. Yeah, we don't, don't sit... If a Perfect stranger hey, gave me a one-seat buffer. I'd be like, all right, I understand. The theater's packed. Give me the one-seat buffer. Right. We're good. 
Yeah, that's why I don't like going on opening night because yeah. it, usually it's like jam packed, and I I hate sitting <laughs> by people I don't like. And honestly, with a woman, it's a two seat buffer. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. You never know when that hand's gonna start sliding. Yeah. Yeah. So, have you ever uh, turned around rights, and told someone less. to shut up in a theater? Like, because somebody was just talking so much, and you finally like were just like, "Yo," <laughs> I told my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you're going to be talking through this whole movie, I will move. <laughs> I will go and sit over there. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> she, I mean, she, she tempered it a little bit. <laughs> you're, she she's like, oh, I didn't realize I was being a problem. And you're like, you were she, being a she, problem. Honestly, she did not think it was a problem. And now, look, I don't want to call my mom out because it is my mom, but she did not think it was a problem. She was like, no, we always talk through all the movies. I'm like, oh, my. Oh, so everyone hates you in every theater mm-hmm. they've ever been. So your, your whole 50, 60 years on this earth, every time you've went to go see a movie, you've pissed somebody off. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I even, well, I did shush somebody one time when I was with my ex-wife. She got so embarrassed. Like, because it's, 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 it's just these kids that were playing on their phone the whole time, dude. They uh, would not shut up. And I'm like, yo, you can go outside, right? Like, <laughs> but everybody else in the theater was kind of just like, I could just see the people around me were like, thank you. But my wife was like, sink in the seat. <laughs> like, Everybody's scared out Yeah, they were like man. on their damn phone. And they were laughing yeah. and talking the whole movie. I yeah. couldn't hear anything. I'm like, everybody's, yo. Everybody's scared out here. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Jones. Good, man. Yeah, and that's probably the only time. I Like, usually I just, because I usually don't care, but I'm like, it went on for like, it was. It had been like 50 minutes into the movie. And the whole movie, they were on their phone and snickering. Like, the whole, like, <laughs> with their phone on and shit. And I'm like, go outside. Go outside the theater. Why are you here? Why did you come see a movie? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what movie was it? I have no clue. No it was, clue. It was, it was, I mean, this was like at least five years ago because I was married. I was just like, there are people that are trying to watch a damn movie in here, yo. Like, yeah, what the hell yeah, is happening? Yeah. So I guess uh, for me, like when I went when I went to go see Sonic um, as a <laughs> a grown adult male going to see a, a children's movie, naturally there were children there. Yeah, but normally you either go you, normally you go at times like not in the middle of the day. I think that was your mistake. Didn't you go in the middle of the day on uh, opening day I, instead I, yeah, of very I went to first? A little bit of a later show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were children there, and they were not quiet. They laughed at, like, the worst jokes. Well, I mean, yeah, there's not a whole lot of good jokes in Sonic, but right, they laughed right. at the worst ones. Right, right, right. Worst. Well, that's what kids do. They laugh at all yeah. the dumb stuff. And there was that one point where, you know, I had to I had to thank the, like, I, I got this new thing where I just, like, I got to thank, you know, whatever deity you want to choose for me to thank believe in. You person. Know? Yeah, I just thank God. I'm like, hey, yo, thank you for that bisectomy. There was a, <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a mother. Because the kid started getting a little loud, and she was going to take him out of the theater. Oh, as, well, that's nice. As you right? should yeah, yeah, do. Yeah. The kid had a tantrum halfway between the seat and the like, the little round where area where the aisle. Oh, aisle to go outside the theater. The theater? Yeah. Oh god, had a had a tantrum in full view of me and the screen, and <laughs> just the kid is on the ground like. Yeah! Oh, he was laying on the floor tantrum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was one of those. It was one of those tantrums where you know she just wanted to like pick him up and just like. Oh, you if know, she was at home, she would have hit him. Casual child abuse, man. Hey, look, it's all good. You know, you do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> We're in I public. Got, I cannot yeah. abuse you like I do at hey, home. Hey, look, I got plenty of strap to my ass, and I turned out perfectly fine. Yeah, man. But was... it was this. She she kept it. I was very proud of her, but it was the most annoying thing I ever seen in my life. Oh, dude. I uh every time there. I go anywhere where there's a lot of kids, I'm like, thank effing Lord <laughs> Jesus Jehoshaphat. You still uh, you still shooting I, live I, I rounds, mean, I shoot my I mean, You got to be putting it inside somebody to get. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you still got live ammo. Yeah, you know, I do got live ammo, which I probably should take care of. I'm to be honest, you. show it's like at this age, like, do I want like, well, am I gonna be sixty having a having a baby graduating high school? Uh, you heard it here first. Yeah, Jonas it, said it here first. Yeah, my, I'm, oh, that's my goal. I just want to have a baby. Yeah, dude. You know, it's like I was talking to uh, somebody and I was like, you know, it's like it's not even that I hate kids. I don't. Yeah. I don't hate kids. No. Kids can be fun. Kids absolutely. can be awesome. Like talking to kids sometimes is really funny. Yeah, absolutely. But like the best part ever is just being able to interact with them for that short amount of time and then walk away. You Because kids can also what? be dicks. <laughs> Like a like a deadbeat dad? <laughs> no, like like you deal with like your your little your little niece when your sister's over, and then you walk away. You don't have to deal with them for like oh. four months. Like, yeah, like kids the... can be giant dicks. Mm-hmm. Like kids can be just as big a dicks as they can be enjoyable. Yeah, 
It's the same principle with other people's dogs. Right, right, exactly. I love dogs when they're somebody else's. Right, if I had to take care of that dog all the time, it's eating my stuff, eating my shoes, pooping on the floor, dog hair yeah. all over. I'm like, I hate you. But when yeah. you're like, what the puppers, he's so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. the best. Exactly. <laughs> that's the so, best. yeah, give me like 10 minutes of a dog. <laughs> A couple minutes of a kid at the most, because that dude when I used to work at the video store, it was the worst. All the toys. I was like, oh, dude, it was over. <laughs> that was the kid sound. That's the sound of children. No, those were the noises that they were make. The toys would make that, the, that we sold. Oh, okay. I want the Mo- Monsters Inc. toy, and it would be like it said the same phrase all day long. It would be like, ah, I want a Budweiser. Isn't that what they say in the movie? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's all the time we have for this one. Kids, yeah, they do it. For uh, Jonas. Go to crazytown.com. That's our stuff. Sub. Subscribe. TNT. Uh, We out.